a Rock County run nursing home is the center of controversy after laying off staff who refused to get the coronavirus vaccine. Rock Haven nursing home said earlier this year its policy requiring COVID-19 vaccinations protects the safety of vulnerable residents. Now a lawyer is working to reinstate the 13 employees who want their job back. Tony Galley spoke with one of them new at six what she says the experience has been like and what she's hoping will be the outcome. I was two months shy of five years when I got laid off. There's a motion in photos from Elizabeth Snowdy's last day as a certified nursing assistant at Janesville's Rock Haven. There was a bunch of people in tears because, you know, we were all family. The residents, I thought they were my family. You know, I looked at them as family. Without work, after refusing to take the COVID-19 vaccine, she's staying with family. It is stressful, you know, not having an income coming in and um, trying to raise your daughter and get her things and pay your bills. Elizabeth Snowdy and others were laid off over a vaccine mandate. She still believes she cannot fully trust the vaccine. It's only emergency use. There are staffers here at the Rock Haven Nursing Home who have not been vaccinated, yet continue to interact with and care for elderly vulnerable residents. And the acceptance of these exceptions to the mandate policy is difficult to swallow for those workers who have been laid off. You could have said, I've got a religious belief that or I was planning on getting pregnant. Snowdy wanted her vaccine concerns accepted. The son of this Rock Haven resident says a policy leaving nothing to chance on safety has his backing. I would endorse uh, whatever they decided to do. And Rock County's administrator says the nursing home's new leader cannot create new exemptions for a policy that's not changing. I had to take a stand for myself. And she's living with that decision. In Rock County, Tony Galley, 27 News. With overwhelming Republican support, the state legislature passed a bill banning employers from requiring workers to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Governor Evers has yet to take action on that bill.